Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'll be jumping into some more Angel. Um, I had originally planned to do both an Angel episode and Buffy episode today, but unfortunately I started a bit late um, than what I was planning, and I have a big dinner to make and some other household stuff, which doesn't really matter for you guys, the specifics. But I did say I was going to do Angel 208 and Buffy 508, but unfortunately I can only fit in this one today because I want to be able to get it up and edited and uploaded for you guys by tonight. So no worries though because tomorrow I will be doing Buffy. Um, in fact, I'm going back to I think a three batch of Buffy. So today I'll do one Angel and I'll do hopefully one to two Buffy's tomorrow, hopefully two. So you're technically getting a bit more than you were going to get just two, in two separate days. Um, hope you guys understand. Um, and yeah, uh, last time on Angel, uh, we had a lot more backstory on Darla. The episode itself was called Darla, so of course we got a bit more info on her. Um, like her beginnings with the Master and more backstory with her um, and Angel. And we got to see like their point of view and what we saw with Fool for Love with Spike, which was really awesome. Um, and at the end, she wanted Angel to turn her into a vampire again because she can't take having a soul. He said it was going to catch up to her, and it did. Um, so she ran off. Don't know where she's going, if she's going to go back to Wolfram Hart or Lindsay. Where is she going to go? What's going to happen? I'm sure Angel's going to try to find her. But yeah, I'm excited just to get into more Buffyverse. Um, it's been a bit since I've watched any. Um, I made a little up updated post on Patreon if you're curious, but there was some um, cases of the virus at my dad's work. Luckily not on his ship, so he had no contact with them, but they still sent him home, him home for a few days, so it was hard for me to uh, record anything. But everything's back to normal now, so I'm getting back into the groove of things. And yeah, let's just get to it. This is Season 2, Episode 8, The Shroud of Raman. Raman? Raymond? Raman? I think it's Raman. It's all yours. This is a different opening. We can help you. Tell us what you know and we'll send you back down to hold it. You stay quiet and my partner here will dent your skull. Hey, you listening? My guess is you got yourself involved in something a little bigger than you expected. You got scared, you panicked, and in the end, there was an officer on the floor. Not to mention, a body without a head. Do yourself a favor. She shouldn't have been there. She didn't know. Huh? He didn't know what he was getting into. None of them did. If they'd known, they wouldn't... What happened? You didn't bring it here, did you? Stop who? He should never have been there. <laughs> of all people, he should never. Oh. You don't tell him what to do. He's the boss. Angel? The boss. He helps people, you know. When he's not in trouble himself. Quitting I try to get him out of there. She was with me. Oh, God. Cordelia? What happened to your head? Excuse me? Your hair. It's new. Your shallow soul-sucking Hollywood party? Premiere, actually. And, uh, I happen to have an extra ticket. Who did shallow better than me? <laughs> See how they do? See, man, they, they, they mess with your mind, man. It's the whole reason I called you, Because you've got a vampire problem, and Angel has a little experience in that area. And if I don't show up with EJ, he said if they don't hunt me down and kill me, he will. Where's me? I'm shifty. <laughs> Psycho vampire got a name? Yeah, um, uh, EJ said it, it, it's, it's something like... Uh, like G Don or Joe Don or J Don. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, he's 
police coming in for the meeting tonight. They're, they're picking them up. This ain't no paying gig. I brought it to you. And I'm taking it from here. If I can shut it down, great. If not, I'll protect them. Then what am I supposed to do? Sit home and knit? I could use a sweater. <laughs> Something dark. testify against her in a blindingly sunny court of law. Don't suppose you have a search warrant? No, I knew I forgot something. Right now, she's as annoying as Forrest was on Buffy. I don't know where she is. I will find her, Angel. She's like Forrest level. You'll be sure of nice. that, and when I do, she's toast. She's human now, remember? Toast with life in prison. It's hardly noticeable. What are you, what happened? Holy blood. It's not blood, it's cocktail sauce. Uh -oh. Courtesy of Mr. Star Schmoozer here. I mean, your head. Your, your hair. <laughs> well, it looks great. What? <laughs> when did this happen? Ten days ago. Pay attention. <laughs> what? This steal something from a local museum. Probably something with mystical power, which means something we really don't want them to have. The Shroud of Rami? Indeed. Do you know which museum they'll be targeting? No, Gun's cousin didn't know. He's just a driver. We should find out which museums in the area have recent acquisitions. This is wonderful. You're on Keats. You're back. Yeah, it'll be just like old times, right, Angel? Meeting evil face to face, kicking evil's booty. Wes and I'll crank up the research machine and you'll... What will you do again? They're bringing a vampire in from Las Vegas tonight. His name's J. Dot. What is it? Oh, God, what is it? Oh, yeah. What's the password? There is no password. Just checking. <laughs> he took the glasses off before they turned to dust. Hello? J. Don. You think I'm trembling in luggage? <laughs> How you doing? Oh, Angel. Yo, oh, Sharp. Yeah, classic surgeon. He gave me the big rebate. Let's go. Car's over here. Yeah, you know, the trip was fab. Bo, I love flying coach. Shade on. He talks too much. I'm a people person. I like the shirt. Where'd you get that? It's big and spiny. It's funny. You're funny. You'll be even funnier when I crush your head. Funny ha ha, funny peculiar. Shut up, all of you. Hey, I wasn't talking. Where's Lester? Yeah, where's Lester? We can't get the ball rolling without Lester. Who's Lester? Who's Lester? Yeah. The driver? He should have already been here. Finally. What kind of name is Lester anyways, huh? Norwegian? Finnish? Yeah. What took you so long? What took me so long is I'm a professional. Yep. They're both going undercover. The Make sure no cops follow me. Looks like I'm the last one at the party. To the elevator where we meet Bob at 2:45, and we all go down together. This is the vault where they keep it. The vault has a lock code known only by the curator. That means we have to blow it. Now the door has no alarm, but the vault itself has its own system, a thermal sensor. Any change in temperature will set off the alarm. Guess that's where I come in, huh? Oh, oh no body heat. Guess that goes with the no soul thing, huh? Jadon enters, he goes to the control box in the back, disarms it. This is something I should just take out. Of the I got a problem with that. So do I. You expect me to spend the rest of the week with this clown? No, just the rest of the night. We're not waiting, we're doing this now. Tonight? And no one leaves my sight until it's over. Anybody tries, they get a bullet from me. Stake from him. Don't leave me again. I was trying to protect you. I appreciate that. <coughs> Don't do it again. This one earlier tonight. We 
couldn't make this guy until we ran it past Carlson. He said you knew him. It's out of the scope of our investigation, but uh, Carlson said you might be interested. Oh, no. I'm interested. Oh, no. It's not gonna end well. Don't drop it. Don't. Man, man, chill. All right, this is Nitro. Last thing I want is my body parts mixed up with yours. We should have been in the vault by now. Shut up! No! <gasps> absorbed Ramon's power. So he who has the shroud has the power. You said Ramon was what a power? drive you mad kind of fella? Mm. I hate it when you do that. Once in 1803, the shroud was removed from its casing. And Yakinis ensued? Well, yes. The entire population of Elencanto went insane. 